There are some of us that used to be on fire for God. But now we have gotten at ease. To the point to where doing what God wants us to do is no longer as important as it used to be. Like it or not, you have gotten at ease. Now notice the prophet had to warn God's people and say to them, woe to you who are at ease in Zion. See, coming to church is not enough. You can come to church and warm the poos of the seats. But yet when folk look at your actions, when they look at your dedication to God, when they look at your loyalty to ministry, it's obvious that you have gotten at ease. Oh, God, and I'm telling you, whenever you get at ease in Zion, it is so easy to quit ministry. It is so easy to stop doing the very thing that got you blessed or got you delivered. Can I preach it right? And we live in a time where so many church folk have gotten at ease. Have a craving or a longing more so for worldly things than they do things of God. I don't know if you've ever watched a person get at ease before. Can I just teach you? They'll go from wanting to talk about God all the time to speaking and talking for hours and never mention God's name not one time in their conversation. And if you mention it, they'll change the subject. Why? Because they have gotten at ease and they no longer have an appetite for God or for ministry. But the Bible says God used the prophet to say to people who are at ease, woe to you. You are in trouble whenever you set up and get at ease in Zion. Because one thing you have to understand about God is that what he has for his people is always bigger than the church or within the four walls. See, you got to recognize when God has something for you to do, you don't separate what God has for you to do. That's natural and spiritual. It all is in line with what God want me to do. But when you get at ease in Zion, not only... Will you not have an appetite or a hunger for things that pertain to church? But when you look at your life, you no longer have a desire to progress. And it's like you see some saints that are just drying up. Because they have gotten at ease. Don't even miss coming to church. Have gotten Man, you'd be surprised how many pastors just, just are chill right now. Even to the point to where when the members talk to them in reference to ministry, they can tell that, man, pastor acting like he on vacation. I'm going to teach it right. But see, whenever you get at ease and you start putting the things of God on the back burner, don't be surprised when he don't show up to meet your urgent need. Don't be surprised when he doesn't give you the good measure, the press, the shaking, and the running. Why he ain't doing it, Pastor? He looking at you, sister. You done got at ease. You better watch yourself. Whenever God is no longer important in your life. I'm about to move on. I said, you better watch yourself. 
I said, you better watch yourself. You better remember who delivered you. You better remember who raised you up. You better remember who got you off that alcohol. You better remember who restored that marriage. You better remember who saved that child. You better remember who answered your prayers. But we live in a time where people are getting at ease. I'm finna move on. And whenever you get at ease, you no longer have an appetite or a hunger for the things of God. Can I break it down a little bit further? Have you ever had somebody who wanted to cook you something, wanted to go get you something to eat, and they were going to get you whatever you wanted, but you didn't have an appetite. Woo! See, I'm trying to tell you something. I'm trying to tell you it's hard to cook for folk who don't have an appetite. So don't preach like he used to. He, he don't do this. Like he don't break it down the way that he used to. I like the way he used to do this, that, and the other when he preached. But can I submit to you? Maybe it's not pastor. Maybe it's you. Maybe you done lost your appetite. Because I come to tell you, whenever you get hungry, you just want something good to eat. Whoa, am I preaching right? It's hard to please folks. Who don't have an appetite. Pastor, I just ain't in it like that. No, no more. See, that's a killer of progression. And I want to say to you, just because your best friend loses their appetite. I feel like preaching this thing. I said, just cause your best friend lose their appetite and walk off, you better tell them, I don't feel hungry. Leave if you want to, I gotta eat. You think I'm going back to where he brought me from? See, there are good folk looking for churches that still have an appetite. There are good folk looking for a place that still hungry for a move of God. Tell somebody getting at ease, getting at ease is a killer of progression. Yeah. 